Hey viewers, it's another episode of Strategy Evaluations. Uh, this time we're going to look at Cartus and one of the interesting strategies he provides, which is Suicide Cartus. It's actually not played by me, since I don't own Cartus, and I definitely don't think he's a good champion, but he's played by Hotshot GG. And I found this game on uh, General Weiser's account and it kind of intrigued me because I noticed there are plenty of cards who do this kind of tactics. The idea behind it is that you actually uh, try to suicide in and get more than one kill out of it. And well, as long as you do that, in general you will come out ahead and yeah, we'll see how that works. Here we go. So we're starting off uh, about one and a half minutes into the game. And we see everyone basically protecting Shan's uh, blue buff. Yeah. Shan is the jungler here. At least I think he is. Yeah. And we're going to see uh, mid lane with Cartus, played by Hotshot GG. Well, the first part of the game is basically what it always is. It is just farming up. And this game wasn't really serious. It's probably a normal game, although he normally only plays ranked. But he was on uh, Vent or Skype or whatever with... Uh, his friends and they were making well all sorts of jokes with each other and trying well trying to do get the others to laugh basically which is not normal behavior during uh, gameplay especially ranked games but their ranked games aren't as serious as ours So he's trying to get as many last hits without uh, as he can uh, without actually pushing the lane. So he is using his uh, Q, the little bombs, to farm, but mostly just his auto attack. So he's laning against Ezreal, who is doing a lot more damage than he does to enemy champions. And Especially the uh, little bombs don't do a whole lot against enemy champions. They are mostly there to kill minions or get last hits on minions. So yeah, there's not a whole lot to comment on from here on. Um, well, we see top lane being uh, Caitlyn against oh man Fiddlesticks uh, which should be no problem for Fiddlesticks as he has his drain life and yeah he should be fine uh, and then bottom lane is Nunu and Annie versus Maokai and I cannot remember who the other guy was but we'll see him in a moment Oh, there he is, and I don't actually recognize the picture. So you probably are all shouting who it is, but uh, I don't know. And then we obviously have a jungling Olaf, and Olaf did a lot of damage there. A lot more than Hotshot actually uh, thought he would. So. We're going to have to recall, uh, get some shopping done, and basically go out again. Shen, in the meantime, is taking over. So, and is just trying to, uh, well, basically get the last hits that Cartus cannot get at this moment because it's not in lane, and he's trying to not let the experience go to waste. So now they. He goes out again. Kurtz comes back in. A little bit aggressive towards the enemy champion. And immediately pays for that by losing 
some life. So not a whole lot going on yet. Trying to get a kill here on uh, Asriel, but he uses his uh, flash, whatever it's called. It's it's one of the skill shots. He uses that to actually get away. And now he runs back in, which is probably not a good idea. <laughs> and he almost gets the kill. Well, they both almost get the kill. So, and then with the ultimate, of course, Cortis gets the kill. <laughs> Which is kind of funny to me because he was level 5 and he was not really paying attention to his ultimate. <laughs> and then he leveled to level 6 and all of a sudden he could ultimate. At least that's what I think he did, because otherwise why would he wait that long? So going the uh, Catalyst, which is kind of the standard thing to go on virtually any character. In this case he went Boots first, because Asriel has all skill shots, and with skill shots it's better to have high movement speed. So the same against Cartus. If you're playing against Cartus and you get boots first, he won't hit his little mini bombs and you won't get damaged as much, which is a good thing. So placing the ward in the spot he used last time as well. And yeah, well, it seems that that's his ultimate spot for spotting uh, people come up the river trying to gank him. And it is a pretty good spot, I would say, because it reveals the bush as well as, uh, well, the whole river, the whole width of the river. And it's a lot better of a spot than the actual uh, bushes right next to the mid lane. Again, they're going again uh, on each other like they want to kill, but nobody gets the kill because Asriel runs out. Both of them healing up. Slowing him down again, but he flashes out with his skill shot thingy. And no harm done. So back to the last hitting basically. So since we didn't see the, I'll get to see the uh, champion selection here, I'm thinking this is a normal game. And that would explain all the, well, basically toying around he was doing. Which is why he could do a suicide strategy. Because, well, suicide strategy is normally not a good plan in ranked. But if you're playing a normal game with your friends, yeah, why not try it? It's it's okay. It still does the job if you're good at it. I mean, he's being very aggressive here. He's being a lot more aggressive than a caster should be. But he's getting it done. I mean, Asriel is at lower life than he is. He probably has a lower uh, creep score than he has. So basically, he's winning. At this point, these uh, oh no, we can see the last one. But at this point, the uh, ultimate still doesn't kill him, so kill Asriel. And somebody else asked for an ultimate on uh, Fiddle, but Fiddle is low enough either, so he's going to try anyway. But yeah, there's no nothing happening there. tower diving to actually get the last hits in. So here we see two people uh, being killed. 
maybe because of the ultimate and then they trade blows here and Vyga comes in he uh, obviously wants to ha be bombed as well he probably didn't realize that card is, was still in his uh, well beyond that phase I should co probably call it it's the phase where once cards is dead he, get, he gets about 8 seconds or so that he can still cast spells he cannot move but he can still cast spells and damage opponents and creatures minions and Vygar goes down so Vygar was the last one they did some new art on him so I didn't recognize him right off I do like how they update the art every now and then some of the art is really well not that good I especially dislike the Misfortune standard skin because it's anatomically so incorrect that it's yeah I, I basically don't understand how someone could draw that there's a lot of those by the way uh, karma is totally anatomically incorrect there's no way you can twist your body like that uh, oh, with uh, misfortune it's mainly where the legs are attached to the body that's not where legs are normally attached to the body and here he suicides in again he gets the kill but he dies